In today's video, I'm going to be exposing some of Minecraft's biggest secrets of 1.18. And each time I test one, I get to move one step closer to a secret Minecraft box. But if I can't reach the boss and kill him in under just 45 minutes, I got to eat a tablespoon of mustard. All right, so this guy says a quadruple copper hack. He's saying that if you craft four of these, it gives you four blocks. It would make sense. But if you put them through a stone cutter, it actually multiplies it by four. This is confusing, so I made you a nice visual. So inside this chest, I have 64 oxidized copper, and we're gonna go ahead and test it out by putting it in the crafting table. According to this theory, it would make 64 cut copper, and it did. So now we're gonna put that away, and we're gonna try it again with the sawmill. So again, we have 64 oxidized copper. This time we're gonna cut it. Wait a minute, one block made four? So if I shift click, this might make us four stacks. Look at that. We just transformed one block into four. We are literally creating matter out of thin air. This is a hack that works, and it's a hack that's going to give you infinite blocks. You could then make over four stacks of stairs. You can get 256 stairs if you use this hack, and if you don't, you only get 40. And because that works, we get to break a layer and get that much closer to the secret boss at the end. Our first chest gives us a shovel, and that's perfect because, well, we've got some dirt. Apparently, the best way to travel in Minecraft is using Frostwalker boots because oceans and rivers are now so big. I feel like this is not true. So we're going to walk across the river with Frost walker boots and see what this does i mean early on obviously it's good but what, can we even sprint okay that's a good sign you can sprint and you can move straight but can you sprint jump because we know that's op Ooh, you can't and then you got to go back to it to me this seems like a really really bad hack because i'm pretty sure using a boat is a lot faster which is why when we put these side by side and compare the times you can see that sprinting on ice is not even close to the best way to travel in minecraft boat is far superior i think it always will be hashtag boat gang and that means we're gonna move on to the next layer we get a iron shovel this time so let's go ahead and oh careful don't wanna die once we reach the secret boss at the end we can only use the items we've harvested through these layers to kill it hopefully we've got enough in here to take it down by placing down a tripwire with a dispenser the water flows over it and should give you one extra string so to make this work all you do is put a dispenser with a bucket and then tripwires so we're gonna load this up with three string and clear our inventory to make sure that we're doing this right now on survival mode you can see one two three string we're gonna turn this on and if it works <laughs> we're gonna get four string one two three four now we got four string three go down and now we should get four more and this will take our total to five and it does this completely works so if you need that one extra string and a spider farm is not good enough for you this is stupid but you could do it looks like the layers are getting harder this time another netherite shovel and i guess we're gonna need it because these walls look to be a lot bigger in the future placing string over lava can stop it from making any sounds give this a listen you got your normal lava bubbling right and this kind of gives it away if you're trying to set up a trap but apparently the string blocks it and makes it silent this sounds so fake. So if you set up lava like this, what happens is the little particles come out, they make sound, and as the lava flows, it also makes sound. So there's a lot of sound coming from it. So now we're going to put our string down and see what happens. It actually works. I thought it was fake and it was like still making sound and I just placed one more string and then it literally works. Listen, there's no sound. This actually works, which means you could use this to create a lava trap like this under someone's base. And then when they walk around, do, 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 they're going to fall into it because they want to know what's there. So lucky for us, we're moving on to the next layer, which is a cobblestone layer here. And hopefully we get a pickaxe. You ask, you receive. This is set up so well. One of Minecraft's newest glitches is you can put new foliage on top of snow. I don't really get the point. I don't know why you want to do this, but we're going to see if you can. All right, we're coming locked and loaded with three different types of snow to test it on. Snow A, the snow. Snow B, the powdered snow. And snow C, the snow block. Three different types of snow. One champion, of course, a grass for a control unit. Let's go ahead and let the testing begin. Number one, cornflower. Confirmed. Oh, that was cool. It, I mean, it didn't go on the snow, but it, it like kind of worked. Okay, so uh, basically nothing for the cornflower. Round two, we're doing the flowering azalea. Still nothing. The more we do this the more fake this one looks. I would say it's a glitch. I would say it's patched. I would say your dreams of growing snow plants are over. Although not as over as this boss is about to be when we get to it soon and take it down. Let's break through the coal wall and let's actually keep the coal because I have an idea for this next big boy. Is it possible to hang from a ceiling using water? This guy seems to have invented a new dream strat that seems like the ultimate way to escape from hunters. Looks super hard. I don't want to try it but I will. So I've created a giant <laughs> giant path above a canyon here. We're going to use one bucket of water to try to cross it. I guess there's no time better than now to begin. We're definitely making some forward progress here. Hey, yo, this might be working. It's not even that hard. You just go to the front, do it again. Yeah, this is easy. The only problem is it like kind of low key pushes you back a lot. It makes it a little difficult to navigate. All right, we've done it about five times. That's how far we got. So we actually got really far, but it was weird is it seems to leave the water behind you in some impossible water shape that you can't even suck up. Look at this. 
So not only is this a great way to travel, but it's also a great way to troll servers because nobody could get it unless they get the source block. Look at this. The only way is taking that down. Now I'm going to grab the coal we got from our last one to break through this layer because there it is some sticks. I think we can craft the torch here. Kind of do, do a little brain teaser to get through. And I think these torches will help us get through easier. There it is. Look how satisfying that is. Oh my God, this is beautiful. We can see what's through it. And we got a full diamond layer next. Can you actually walk through walls with 1.18 blocks? Apparently by putting a dripstone leaf down and then a block above you, once you stand on it, just like this, when that dripstone leaf goes, bloop, it sucks you through the wall to the other side. So I've got it set up right here already for us. We're going to break this and stand right in the block and then place it and see what happens. We're going to walk in a straight line. Come on, baby. Oh, it, it did it work? No, it crushed us. That doesn't make sense. My only other guess is maybe we have to use a different block. So we'll try it like this. We'll try sprinting in the corner and jumping. No. Nah. This one doesn't work at all. My day is ruined and my disappointment is immeasurable. All right, our next item is a netherite pickaxe. Wow, this is pretty good. And we got a full row of diamond blocks. We probably can make full diamond armor out of these now, which will help us kill whatever the secret boss is in game. One of the biggest Minecraft glitches ever was this right here. If you simply hit a mob while holding your sprint key and keep sprinting, you won't lose any hunger. The if you punch a mob while sprinting, that's all you have to do to keep your hunger bar full. So to test this out, we have a cow right here. I'm going to sprint and punch it. And we're going to keep on sprinting. I'm going to punch it one more time just for good measure. Come here, old Bessie. Come here, baby. Let me get that udder. Now we're just going to keep sprinting around and see kind of if we lose hunger at all. If we do lose hunger, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means in the newest version, Mojang finally realized, hey, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm going to keep punching it, though, for good luck. I'm sorry, Cal. I must. So far, we're on hard mode right now. We're not losing any hunger. I don't know, man. It's uh, it's kind of low-key working. And I also don't know if it, like, breaks if you jump or anything, but let's keep going. Look at this. <laughs> we're not losing any. We've been sprinting for a long time now. Well, let's run ourselves all the way up to the next wall to break because this one is confirmed real. Guys, if you're doing a world record, you got to use that hack or you're absolutely going to lose. Let's see what our next item is here. A shield. Oh, cool. I don't think we need to take it yet because we're obviously not fighting the boss yet. So this guy invented a new way of strip mining where you go three up and then five and five. To me, it looks super dumb. So we're going to do in creative mode here to make sure we get this done right and can cover a lot of ground. So you go in, you do one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then you go three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. 12 seconds later. So far, this seems absolutely stupid. I haven't found any extras yet. I think the actual best way to mine is to use these cool custom pickaxes on my Minecraft server because these help you with custom enchants to find ores. We must be getting close to the end because it's starting to get very stormy now and looking a little bit more dangerous. Our next item is an enchanted gapple, dude. All right, another right pickaxe to get through the obsidian. I don't know what's coming after this. Infested stone is apparently found in every layer of Minecraft, no matter where you look, including mountains and giant caves. I've never seen this happen, and I don't know if it's fake or not, but I do have the ultimate way to test that, and that's to go deep into the ground and select a massive area of land in creative mode. And when we select this, we can actually count, using a command, how many infested stone blocks there are. And if we get anything above zero, it's true. So we've selected 217,000 blocks. Now we're gonna count how many infested stone there are. And the answer is zero. There is zero infested stone here in this massive cave system. And by the way, we tested three other areas and none of them had any either. So I don't know if this is a feature that ever actually came out. So let's see what's in our newest chest. An enchanting table with lapis. Here's everything we have so far. Hopefully we can get a crafting table and turn these into some diamonds because this is really going to help us kill that. It looks to me like there is only two layers left until we have to fight this bad guy. If you generate a Minecraft world using the custom biome, it creates an actual moon surface covered in grass. This is a lush cave custom biome. If we select lush caves right here, this should create an environment that looks like a moon covered in grass, which sounds pretty cool to me. So let's go ahead and spawn this up. And this is the world that we are faced with. A beautiful world that is honestly one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. Could you imagine doing a let's play in a world like this? Now underground is no different guys. You come down here, it's equally as pretty. Every single cave is lit up like this and it's like living on an alien planet. So if you're looking for an alien planet let's play or a style of your own, it's a great way to do it. Let's see what's inside the next chest. 64 spectral arrows and we have a bow in this one. All right, there's a new command in Minecraft apparently called slash place feature that allows you to place virtually any feature you want in Minecraft. This sounds incredibly broken. So here we are in a stunning Minecraft world in the brand new version. We're going to go in creative mode and do slash place feature. And uh, I don't know. Let's do uh, trees, wind, swept hills. Failed to place. Seems like this is clearly still a beta feature. Basalt blobs. Failed to place. Seagrass. Failed to place. Let's do a delta. Oh, we got a magma block somehow. It didn't really seem to do anything. Jungle bush. Oh, that worked. So it looks like the idea is that it will allow you to place very specific features that are generated in Minecraft. And it actually works sometimes. 
A clock. We're breaking through the full netherite blocks here. This is crazy, but I don't even think I need this to kill the boss. Before I do this, though, I'm going to go ahead and collect four pieces of wood because I have an idea. Before I hop down the hole, I'm going to create a crafting table. And in this crafting table, I'm going to create a full set of diamond armor. All we have is a bow and 64 arrows. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going in the dungeon. Spawn boss when ready. I'm ready. It's the illusioner. Oh, God, we're blind. Is that him? No. Is that him? No. Which one of these is him? Dude, we're getting absolutely demolished. Where is he? Where is he? Wait. He's in the corner. He's this one. No, he's not. He's invisible. No, he's not. He's this one. Oh, I got him again. If, as long as I can get him before he blinds me again. There he is. He's not. He's not. He's not. Oh, we got him. We got him. We killed him. We killed him. If you guys enjoyed, click here to go watch me give away a PS5 to a fan. Peace out.